Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Um, we're in Forever Bowl, as you can see. No music due to, uh, possible copyright. But, uh, yeah, we're chilling. I am in my wheelchair, as you guys are seeing on the screen. But I wanted to show that this game can... In fact, be played seated. The devs have made that clear. Uh, that you can. And I want to show you how easy it is. And with any... Pretty much any amount of arm movement. You can play this game. And for the easiest way of showing it. I do have my arms simply up on the armrests and I'm not going to be moving them because you don't really need to if you have just wrist movement that's all you need but you can use the thumbsticks to move and turn and you can also uh, go into settings you can go to movement settings and you can switch hands I have done that so that I turn with the left stick and move with the right. But even with this movement, very little arm movement, the bowling ball lights up, hold down grip, and there you go. And now, boom. You can, oh, you can just come in here with some friends and have some good old bowling fun. Now let's grab my favorite ball, honestly, and go like that, and it'll go. And it, you can even see over here, kind of the way that the ball is going. Grab it again. And yeah, this, this is it. Like, if you want, you can also, let's say you don't want to have your arms up here. You and you know, you have you're like, Oh, I want to, you know, I want to swing that bowling ball, or yeah, you, you know what I mean. You can take it and pretty much like boom, just give that a little flick of the wrist, a little flick of the wrist, and even down here. Because your headset can track it. As long as I believe, and I mean I'm not doing too good of a job here, that as long as the bowling ball is kind of in the view of the lenses, good. So, and I know... If you have it here, you're good. You do not need to worry on whether or not you can play this game. You don't need to be able to swing or you know, you know do the actual motion you see people do when bowling. You can even have it down here and just let go of the grip. Let go of the grip you want the bowling ball to go and that's it don't you don't really have to do any motions either if you don't want to or you are unable and you do you don't have to worry about it it is so good the devs actually did a really good job with it and I've told them this, I will continue to tell them this. 
that they did a good job. The, I don't even... I have not thought of a single negative with how everything is done because I have not thought, I have not found a spot where your arms might be where the, it, where it won't get registered. I think the only thing is if you went like that and it still got registered. I put that all the way down by my wheel. So if you actually want it, whoa. If you wanted to do the legit motion, I, ju I just did it. I mean, I'm doing a terrible job of it, but you can. I also love this ball. The shark ball. Nom nom nom. Ah. But, uh, yeah, you can play and have fun. And I believe, let me, let me test. Yeah, you can grab it with either hand. So you don't have to worry. We'll see that zero mile an hour ball go anywhere. But uh, my right arm is not my good arm. But yeah, you can just have fun. There are so many bowling balls to unlock. So if you were on the fence about this game, you did not know. Ooh, that's bad. Is this going to ride the whole way? Oh, um, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, if you did not think that you could play this... Because you can only have your arms up on the arm rest. Maybe that's why you have them. Maybe, you know, you have to have them. There. You can. You, you can play this game. I love how accessibility friendly they made it. Because um, honestly, not a lot of devs do that these days, at least in non-VR games, they are not good about it. And sometimes VR games come out and they may not have certain accessibility features, but a lot of them, so many devs, they are amazing. Um, you just, you just gotta talk to them. They'll see what they can do about getting a feature in a game, even something, even just seated play in a game, or the ability to change what stick does what, and, it, and we just unlocked a lot more. Yeah, I got points for cats. That's what's up. But let me let me show you one last thing. Well, I'm gonna show you one last thing. Besides all the freaking lovelies that are put all over this, like my friendos, my my friendos, hey. Um, the between realities lovelies, and just so many other VR lovelies. Oh, kind of, kind of way under that person. But yeah, so many other VR lovelies around this new alley. But here. This is about the best thing. Is that our lanes are inclusive and accessible to all bowlers. Thus, us wheelchair users in mind. And it makes me so happy that that is a thing. That they went and they did that. And ooh, we got a hidden bowling ball. We just unlocked a hidden bowling ball. Sir Luis. But, uh, you can come over here and you can do all this. 
Now, one last thing I will say, because you're probably like, duty, you're crazy short. Like, what's going on? And I will say that, yes. If you're plain seated, you will feel like you are shorter than everybody else. And I'm going to do one thing. And I'm going to do a separate video talking all about this. But you go here. And you go to settings. And you're going to want to go to experimental features. Reset view. And boom. You don't need it, but if you want to be seated and feel like you're standing like everybody else, there you go. Go into experimental settings or experimental features. And turn on the uh, reset view. And boom. You will be standing. But I will say if you do this. Actually no. As long as you can move it. And highlight the ball with your palm. That is amazing. That is amazing. That I did not do. I did not know that one beforehand. So that see, it's highlighted. My arms up here. Boom. So yeah, I'm not even like at that. So of course it wasn't gonna go. But yes, that is gonna do it for this video. If you have a quest too, which right now I do not know if Forever Bowl is going to anything, going to PC VR or anything like that. But if you have a quest or a quest too, and you were on the fence about this game, didn't know if you could play it, hopefully this video is a way of hopefully this video showed you that you can and so you can go pick it up when you got the money and you can play it and just have fun that's what video games are about and everybody should be able to play them and that's why I will continue making these videos to show you how to play these games or show you that you can and yeah if you enjoyed the video think about subscribing and yeah i'll see you in the next one all right peace